Joint accounts. Just saying. Let me tell you why I'm against joint accounts. I can't think of a logical reason as for why you would want to have joint accounts. Statistics show that most marriages and relationships in general end over money. And I think that joint accounts might be a big root of that. Seriously, it doesn't make more money. You're just putting your money together. And I think that the typical reason that that happens is one person in the relationship is supposed to be more responsible in handling the money than the other. So they're given the authority to dictate how that money is spent on the important stuff, the bills. The problem with that is, is that if there's ever a lack of communication and somebody decides to dip in there and use that money for something that's not budgeted for, then all of a sudden there could become an issue where an unexpected amount of money is taken out. Maybe it throws everything off, something bounces, you start getting fees, and it just compounds the problem. Now in this day and age where online banking allows for external transfers to happen, I think it makes more sense to be in control of your own account and have responsibilities divvied up instead of having one person try to handle it. So let's say I'm in a relationship and uh, one of us is the bigger breadwinner and we decide, okay, whoever's making the more money is going to handle the rent or the mortgage. And the person who doesn't quite make the same amount of money is going to handle the utilities, the cable, and the phones. Just saying. And uh, so it gets handled. Now, if you're just starting out in life, you don't make a lot of money and, and something big like the rent is too much or it's going to take too much out of your paycheck. So you actually need to combine the money. Well, that's where external transfers come in. Hey, honey, rent's due. Transfer me, transfer me over half the money for the rent and then I'll go ahead and pay it. Just saying. Um, yeah, I'm a real big proponent for separate accounts. Uh, that way, if there's a split up or something to that effect, then it, it simplifies things more. It allows you to stay in control of your money. And on a, um, on a personal note, whenever you buy somebody a gift, do you really want them to know how much you spent on it? I mean, it kind of takes away from the magic of buying somebody a gift. Hey, I bought you this thing and they're like, they look and say, oh, I see you spent this much money at this location. I know how much my gift costs. I, I don't know, I guess I'm old school like that. But uh, I, I honestly believe that there needs to be a little bit of magic to the gift giving idea, I, I, I think. Um, so that's just it. Separate accounts. That's where I'm at. Separate accounts, divvy up responsibilities, external transfers if it's too much. It'll make your life a whole lot easier, I think, and it'll help you stay in control of what's yours. Just my humbles.